Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. Today we're going to go over the requirements to get the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun. Let's get into it. First off, we're not exactly sure what triggers you getting the Jolly Holiday bounty from Amanda Holiday. I got it after I'd completed the story campaign, reached level 40, and I'm reading that you should also be rank 3 or higher in the Crucible. After that, I went to the tower and picked up the bounty from Amanda Holiday in the tower hangar. Accepting the quest will start you off with a pretty difficult task. You have to get kills in the Crucible while having the last word equipped. For some of you, that should be easy. But deaths do count against your progress. This doesn't sound that bad, but it is a grind pretty similar to the Thorn Bounty. It isn't all bad though. Here are some tips and tricks to get this step done quickly. You do not have to get the kills with the last word. You can use any weapon as long as the last word is equipped in your primary slot, so heavy and special weapons will count. A single kill will grant you 1%, while multi-kills and strengths grant more percent. Death will cause you to lose 2%. If you do not have the last word equipped, then you do not gain progress, but you also do not lose progress on death. Now after banging my head against a wall trying to complete this, I think I found the easiest way to get it done. Go into the crucible with your normal weapon loadout and play until you get your super up and heavy ammo spawns. Then equip the last word and try and stay alive while you slay enemies with your super and heavy ammo. Hopefully you can kill quite a few people like this and get a nice boost to your points. Then when you die or you feel like your streak is going to come to an end, unequip the last word so you don't lose progress until you can go on your next tear. Playing an objective-based game mode will also be best so people are more focused on capturing control points or rifts than actually killing you. After you complete this portion of the quest, you have to go back to Amanda Holiday and give her a generous donation. This requires you to go to the Cryptarch and spend 15,000 Glimmer on a special diamond thing, and then you go give that to Amanda Holiday. The girl likes diamonds. After that, you have to slay major enemies of the darkness with a shotgun, or just kill people in the crucible with a shotgun. The enemies of the darkness have to be level 40 majors or above, and they grant about 6% per kill. Since I didn't know a good area to farm those, I just went back into the crucible and killed more people there since each shotgun kill in the crucible is 3%, and death does not reset progress. However you decide to complete this portion is up to you, just be sure that the kills are done with a shotgun so it counts towards the quest. After that, you are tasked with going in and killing the Shield Brothers in a special light level 290 matchmade version of the Shield Brothers Strike. The catch here is that the specialist modifier is on, and the Shield Brothers must be killed with shotguns. You can kind of cheat at this, however. I went in with a sniper rifle for the entire first part of the strike, since you have to kill a Cabal tank. It went down really easily with the specialist modifier active. After that, we cleared the Brothers room, and there I finally equipped a shotgun. Now, the Brothers do not have to be killed solely by shotguns. You can use your primary or heavy, and you do not have to get the last hit in for it to count. However, everyone in the party should have a shotgun equipped and deal damage to the brothers at least once with their shotgun. This might just be being paranoid, but I helped a friend do the strike yesterday, and we had to do it twice since I kept my sniper on the entire time and did damage to the brothers while using my sniper. That may have caused it to cancel. Once you kill the Shield Brothers, you can go back to Holiday and wait for her to give you your shotgun. You will get the shotgun at the weekly reset, since apparently Tex Mechanica is figuring out if you are worthy of wielding their weapon or not. So aside from that first part of the quest, it's pretty simple to complete since the 290 strike can also be match made. That's it for the guide, guys. If you have any more questions, then leave them in the comments below. I'll attempt to get a review out on this gun ASAP. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny. Your guide to the Destiny Universe. We're in the lead.
weapons down, Guardians. This fight's over.